Hello. In this video, we will go over how to review your billing statement on your My Online Student Account. To begin, go to my.sandiego.edu to log in to your My San Diego portal. Type in your username and password and click Log In. Once you are logged in, click on the Torero Hub dropdown and select My Student Account. Once you do this, you will see a page full of student account related information. To access your My Online Student Account, click on the My Online Student Account hyperlink located under the My Student Account box. Make sure to disable all ad block or pop up blockers on your browser or it will prevent this link from opening. Once you click on the My Online Student Account link, a new window that looks like this should appear. To review the billing statement from the main overview page, click on View Statements on the top right. You can also access it by clicking on Statements on the left side navigation. After clicking Statements, you will be brought to a list of billing statements that have been issued on your account. Click the icon under the View column to view the statement. This will be located on the right hand side of the page. After you click on view on any given statement, you will see statements that look similar to what you're seeing on the screen right now. This first example is of an undergraduate student billing statement which has a balance due. You will see columns on the statement for date, term, description, charges, and credits. Anything that is a charge will be under charges column and anything that is a credit will be under credits. For example, on this statement, there is a credit for a bookstore charge of $47.61, which indicates that the student received a refund for that charge. The student also has an estimated financial aid award, which brings the account balance down to around $3,000. Note that every student's estimated financial aid and account balance will be unique to their award package each year. Estimated financial aid means that the aid has not yet dispersed to the account. It is important to also check that you do not have any outstanding requirements for your estimated financial aid, as well as on your My San Diego portal under the financial aid page. There will also be important information related to each semester at the top and bottom of each statement. Make sure to read that so that you don't miss any important news or updates. Under statement summary, you will see the statement date, due date, and balance or credit that is on the account. This second example statement is of a graduate student billing statement, which has a credit balance versus the last statement example, which had a balance due. A credit balance will be on a bill if you have enough financial aid estimated or dispersed that covers the tuition charges. In this example, the student is charged for tuition and their estimated aid covers the cost of tuition and leaves a credit available of $1,987. Again, note that every student's estimated financial aid and account balance will be unique to their award package each year and their specific tuition charges. There will also be important information related to each semester at the top and bottom of each statement, so definitely make sure to read that. A credit balance that is listed on your billing statement as a result of estimated financial aid will only be issued to you if you make sure to complete all of your financial aid requirements on your financial aid page of your portal. If any requirements are missing and your financial aid does not disperse, you will not receive the refund that was on your billing statement as a credit until those requirements are completed. Once your financial aid has been applied to your student account, you may be eligible for a financial aid refund. A financial aid refund is available to you if your financial aid has already paid your total USD bill and a credit remains on your account. Estimated financial aid must be posted, otherwise known as dispersed, to the student's account in order for a credit to exist and for a refund to be processed. Financial aid refunds are sent via direct deposit or paper check, depending on how the student has decided to set up their preferences for a refund. If you would like your refund via direct deposit, you must enroll in direct deposit on your My Online student account. Disbursement of financial aid happens 10 days prior to the start of the term, with refunds following shortly after. 
Knowing how to review your recent activity is also very important to have an understanding of your charges between billing statements. Billing statements are released only once per month and are a snapshot of activity that has happened since the last statement was released. For example, if your June bill has been released, but the July statement is not yet released, click on Recent Activity Transactions Posted After Last Statement to see any activity on your account since the June statement. This link is located on the statement section above the list of billing statements. After you click on Recent Activity, you will see areas that look similar to this. On this screen, you will see two different examples of recent activity sections. In example one on the left, you will see a previous balance and a bookstore charge, which adds up to $150.84. This information for this student would be on the next billing statement, but until then can be reviewed here. In example two on the right, there is a previous balance of $205.13 and two credits from housing deposit and a personal payment, which paid the balance off. This information will be on the next billing statement, but until then, the student can see that they do have a zero balance because of the credit and payment. The most important thing to remember is that the billing statements are a snapshot in time and that any activity that happens between statements will be in this recent activity section. It will also update your current balance. The One Stop Student Center is available for assistance with financial aid, billing and payments, and student records. Many resources can be found on our website at sandiego.edu slash one dash stop. You can also reach out to us with questions at 619-260-2700 or one stop at sandiego.edu. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.